Welcome everyone uh, to the CounterPoint conversation. My name is Tarun Pathak and I look after devices and ecosystem research at CounterPoint. Today we have a very special guest with us, Mr. Arnold Su from ASOS India, who look after the gaming business in India. And we will talk about AI PCs in India. Uh, welcome to the show. Thank you, Tarun. Thanks for having me here. Yeah. Yes. So we are at a, this Qualcomm Snapdragon X event. I think you guys have announced two uh, laptops here with the uh, Snapdragon X yes. platform. Yes. Uh, my first question to you, how you see the entire AI PC landscape here in India evolving since you guys have been the first movers into the space? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So how, how we see uh, the AI PC, maybe I will use the story of the smartphone. So in 2010 to 2012, when the smartphone come to the market, people consider smartphone is a new device, right? Yes. But today, nobody talk about smartphone because right. almost everything, everyone is using smartphone. Right. So how we are looking at the AIPC is similar situation. Because today, uh, at this 2025, this starting point, maybe AIPC penetration is just like 5% of the total right. PC market, still in a very initial stage. But we believe that in the coming three to five years, Maybe nobody will talk about AIPC, but everyone Correct. will be using AIPC. Correct. Yeah. And which is interesting because traditionally India has been a very mobile first uh, yeah. economy and then the PC penetration is very low. Yeah. Um, and which means we'll unlock a lot of use cases here. It would love to hear from you. What are the early use cases you are seeing uh, in this market uh, as of now? Any experiences would you like to share uh, yeah. with the reviewers? Sure. So. Uh, in the past two, three years, I keep traveling. Right after COVID, I keep visiting the up country of India. Like last two weeks, I was in Jabalpur, Riwa, Sadhana, and wow. even last week, I was in Hassam, in Tunkur. That's interesting. Yeah, so why, what is the reason I, I'm going there is I want to understand what is the real uh, scenario of India market. Yes. So this is also echo to your use case. So how we are looking at this is as a... Uh, PC maker, right? So we are thinking that what is, who are the users using our laptop Correct. and how they are using our laptops. So for AI PC, I think there are lots of use case we can, we can do. First, maybe just by the traveling. So earlier, the main challenge for AI PC is you rely too much on cloud. So right. lots of things you need to do the cloud computing. But actually in the upcountry area, although I know India is doing a very good job, the internet connection is improving day by day, but still we have to say that there are still some area, the internet connectivity is, is still a challenge. challenge. But with the AI PC, we can bring the AI to the device. So the computing power with the new MPU up to 45 tops. So there are lots of things you can do the computing, uh, compute on your device directly. Right. So which will really help us to change the scenario that instead of waiting for a better internet connectivity. Right. As long as you buy an AI PC, you are able to use all the software in your laptop directly. Right, and, and I think you raised a very important point on on-device uh, yes. PC because of the internet connectivity, although it is evolving. Mm -hmm. uh, are there any apps particular you'd like to tell our viewers who have joined us from across the globe today, especially from India? Mm -hmm. Any particular native experiences that your devices are unlocking here in India? Yeah, so like I say, we have our, our Muse tree, so okay. which is a, a app that can help you to assemble and collect, we align the, the photos directly in your device. Okay. And that is also based on your categorization, your auto uh, in, uh, detect your face, your the program, the activity. Yeah. And also okay. apart from this, there are also lots of softwares which we are working with the ISV partners to okay. add into our device. So like I said, maybe at this moment, we need to be very honest to the customer here. Is yes. Maybe you will not be able to see lots of application right away. But we are building up a platform that will be allow all the ISV partners that they will put their software into our machine right. and make it run on device. Right. Mm. And these are still very early days. Like, um, and, and you mentioned you have been here in India for 14 years, yes. <laughs> right? And uh, your experience while interacting with these ISVs or even software developers, mm -hmm. like what are the three key takeaways you are looking into, let's say from one year down the line to five years down the line in terms of penetration of AIPCs in India and how you see this narrative evolving going forward? Sure. So first of all, I think we should uh, change the perception of India market okay. because lots of ISV or like us, even us as a brand, we may consider India still in uh, a market which require only the entry level segment. Yeah. But actually the truth is not. If you see the India's PC market, 
the premier mainstream mark, uh, segment, which is ATK and above, is already more than 30% of the PC. Oh. But lots of people just imagine that, no, in India, we only provide an entry-level machine. We don't need yeah. to invite the ISP. No, I think this is a wrong concept. We should really bring all the software partners to real develop the software or even hardware for India. This is the first thing I see that uh, we should not underestimate India custom. Right. Yeah. And the second thing is the, about the penetration ratio. Because at this moment, in India's PC penetration per household mm -hmm. is only 11%. Which means there are 89% of households that they don't even have a PC. And the limit the really jump to AI PC instead of right. going for the OPC, like the smartphone market. Lots of people, they don't even buy a feature phone, but yeah. they really jump to the smartphone. Right. So this is the second point that we foresee that we should address to the right. people who uh, has not yet used a PC. And also we should tell them that, yes, more mobile phone is important for the content consumption, but for PC, this is for content creation. creation. Yeah. And the, the third point is, we notice there is one very important point, why the PC penetration ratio is a little bit lower in India. Is, uh, as a company, lots of company, they don't go deeper and deeper to district level to Taroka level. So why I was traveling all these two, three years is I want to understand the requirement. For example, uh, in last year, uh, quarter three, I was in uh, West Bengal, mm -hmm. but I didn't stay in Kolkata. Once I landed in Kolkata, I directly go to Asamso, right. Midanapur, and even Bopur. So the reason I go there is uh, one year ago, one of my partner, he told me that he's in Emo in Kolkata. He told me lots of customer, they are not from Kolkata. I say, hmm? why? Where do they come from? Yeah. And then, they, then he gave me this name. He, this customer came from Bopu, Midanapu, yeah. Asanso. Then I said, okay, then I should go there. Because the customer, they travel 180 kilometers, 200 kilometers, only come to Kolkata to buy a laptop. Yeah. I'm thinking, why don't we go there? Yeah. Yeah. And then, so that's why you, you see very soon this month, you will see we open an exclusive store in Bopu. Oh, wow. Yeah. So what we are want to do this is it's the same concept. If today Kolkata is a hub, yeah. then you can attract the customer from the surrounding area. Then, which means if I open a store in Bopu, the same situation, the surrounding Taluka village, yeah. they will come here. They may not go to Kolkata the rest, that but they will come to Bopu. That so then we have a chance to increase the PC penetration ratio in India. Yeah, I think this is very, very important point because uh, you raised two very important points. One is on the premiumization, which we think yeah. we need to relate from the India market. And the second is the channel. Channel is very because most of the growth is coming from tier two and beyond. Uh, so when it comes to the channel strategy, like I need to round off. I think we are at yeah, time uh, in terms of like uh, ASO strategy in India from channels perspective and the consumers perspective. Yes. One is you guys want to bridge it the last mile connectivity gap. Yeah. What are the other areas in the channel you want to add to reach out to these users even faster yeah. going forward? So one of the key areas we are trying to bridge is the customer experience. Okay. There is one point bothering me in the past 10 years in India is today if you buy a motorbike, motorcycle in India, the promoters in the motorcycle, they will serve you a good of cup of tea, coffee, water. Yes. But why not in our PC industry? You buy a premium laptop, it's the same price as a motorbike, right? So we are trying to improve the customer experience in our store. And the second thing is we don't want our store just be a selling point. We want our store to be an experience zone. Yes. So you see in uh, last two, three years, we opened total 10, uh, sorry, 20 ROG store, our okay. Republic of Gamer, our gaming stores in India. And our main purpose for this store is not to sell, it's to provide the gaming experience. So you see our store provide the latest uh, NVIDIA graphics card based uh, gaming laptop and the customer can just go to our website to register Slack and they can sit there play whole day. Mm -hmm. Our main purpose is today if you want to invest two, two legs, three legs, four legs, then you should deserve to use it. Use it. Yeah. Really? And why, why not you just, uh, why if we don't provide, I, I feel we have no right to ask you to pay so much money. Yeah. So the really? experience is the key we want to provide okay. to the customer. With that, like just to round off, uh, yeah. three use cases, what you are currently using on your AI pieces. Oh, the, the, the first one I think is the, the way I interact. Earlier, uh, when I have any question, right? So like recently, I just changed to my new uh, AI PC. And uh, there are some functions I don't know how to how to do. Okay. Then I already opened the copilot and I see I need this function, how to do that. Then here's a human interaction. Earlier is you need to search 
you go to a Google page, you need to yeah. study by yourself. But now directly he tell me, okay, this is this, this is this, and then okay. you you do this. And it's very convenient to okay. me. And the second is like like the music tree we have. So now I have so many photos. Yeah. I have two kids. I have lots of photos. I just put it that you help yeah. me to summarize yeah, nice. everything. And I and third of all, I think the key is the battery life for my AIPC. Okay. Because I travel a lot. And in lots of areas, I don't have a charging point. But now I don't need to worry about the battery backup now. Yeah. Super. I think that will connect with a lot of the use cases here in India. And we at Contopoint wish you all the luck with the new Thank features you. and uh, hope to stay in touch. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so much, guys. This is all from today's Contopoint conversation. Uh, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you. Thank you.